I love catching team. Yes. Oh fuck! There we go. Is the stream coming in smooth this time around? Oh, that's good. It's really smooth. For me, it's really fine. And that goes getting out the screwdriver work then. Yeah. What did you do? Undust the PC? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Get some good spanking. Use your imagination. Damn, girl. What? Why is she doing that? Sometimes you just gotta smack it. <laughs> That's what a lot of IT people do. Oh fuck. Wait, I think I'm going around in circles. Oh wait, it's that way. Ow! Actually, I have the opposite pull. Uh, I've had it the last couple of days, I accidentally pulled while my keyboard cork and my entire PC would crash. Wait, what? Yeah. If I pull out my if I pull my keyboard with a bit of force, my entire PC locks up. Oh, is that um Jay asking? Yeah. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Sorry, I can't see the messages you see because I've got this in full screen. I'm a call of like PC technician. Yep, I still give him smack every day and now again. Ah! Ah! See? It's proven. Point proven. Jay, Jay is professional and he also spends his computer every day. Ah! Fuck you, Saw. I'm not watching any of these Saw movies again. See what I did. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Sometimes I really wonder if he's okay. No, I'm not okay. Oh. <laughs> he watched that movie too much for the eye. Oh, you mean. Yeah. What was the movie called again? Light the Nivagaya. Yes. Yeah, that, that movie's one of my childhoods. I know some people will, will beg to differ about this mechanic, but I actually like the fact that you could actually go in the background of this thing. Oh god. Yeah. Ow, that hurts. You... At least I've got wings for this round. Oh yeah, I do. I actually get a lot of whoa, fun out of these. <laughs> I don't think I could ever play a game I don't like for fuse. Unless it's like, you know, people recommend me a game. I'm not sure if I like it or not and I try and don't like it, but that's something different. 
Yeah, but there's like lots of people that post videos on YouTube that actually just do it for the views instead of actually enjoying the game and you can kind of notice that they don't enjoy the game. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would play um, games that are I would play games that I not generally into uh, just out of curiosity or if somebody dared me to or something like that, you know. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. But I do it mostly out of fun, so I don't go and do it because, oh, it brings you views. Oh, it brings the, you know, this and that, because yeah. I'm one of those believers who believe in enjoying yourself. And if I can turn even the game I don't enjoy into something fun, then it makes it even more better, you know. Yeah, like, you can also notice it, uh, in, 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 if they're playing and how much fun they're having. For example, I think one of my more favorite Let's Plays was, um, I think shit, that was like one of the Game Grumps ones, where, uh, when, <laughs> back when, when Aaron and Jontron were still playing. Oh, yeah. You get it? Uh, mm. They played Goof Troop, and they were having so much fun with that. That was oh. probably one of the more fun ones I've ever watched. I haven't played that game in ages. Like, I watched them play and I wanted to play the game myself because they were just enjoying it so much. So at one point I had a friend over, we actually played that game, it was fucking great. Yeah, I know I know what you mean. It is a great game. That's how it should be. You might like the boss round at this one, by the way, Life. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you yet until I get there, but you may like it. Yeah, it's also like, you know, some people get sad because the streamer, like, is playing a game and he stops playing it. But then he usually stops playing it because he didn't like it or anything. Well, if a streamer's not enjoying it, then there's not really much point to it, really. Yeah. I actually know somebody that's just playing games for views and I got kind of annoyed. Mm hmm. Because he was starting to play games that I like a lot. Mm. And he was just shit talking, kind of. I I mostly take uh, my inspiration from um, big time YouTubers from like people like Jack Sixty Guy or Marco Parla for example, and I'm probably butchering that name there, so I apologise there. But um, yeah, I um, no, not the robotic thing. Phew. But um, yeah. I hit the robotic thing. Uh, but um, yeah, I take my inspiration from those two YouTubers, and those two do it with the right attitude, basically. Well, generally, I like Jack's Zeptify, but I don't like his voice, though. Oh, what's wrong with his voice? It's just so shouty. I am not really good with people that shout. Ah, uh, he's a what? He's generally an okay person. I know, I know, he's an okay person, but I just generally don't like the way he, he like, shout talking. And... I don't really follow people anymore that play games. Like, um... Oh, you should follow me. I mean, what? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, more, more, more like as in, um, I don't really watch it that much anymore. Like and subscribe in the comments. Let us know why you want to subscribe. No, but like, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I just don't watch it that much anymore for some reason. I mean, I still enjoy watching those things sometimes, but. Yeah. And also, one of the. There's actually one way you can uh, play games you don't like and make a really good video out of it. It's called being the angry video game nerd. Oh, I remember him. <laughs> I still actually watch some of his stuff as well. And the thing I like about him is he's just generally honest. It's about it. I mean, yeah. Uh, well, he uh, did overdo some things for the effect, but. Yeah. yeah. At least he admits to it though, at least he goes, yeah, I, uh, you know, and also when he's wrong, he actually admits that he's wrong. So, I do actually like the angry game, uh, angry video game nerd. Oh yeah, and this one you might like, by the way, um, Life. I'm looking. <laughs> There's lots of balls. I know, but look at that Amy. There's an Amy. There's yeah, a... she, if she hugs you, she explodes. Oh it's, my god. It's Amy doll instead of... Look, no, it's got tails. <laughs> She's got tails! No, look at me! No, no! I'll make a sacrifice! <laughs> oh god! So, I mean. 
Oh, you actually have to clear the things before. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm a mace on my life. Oh, oh. fuck. Hello. No! Ah! Oh, you actually died there. <laughs> that kind of reminds me like one of the, the, the boss fights of Bubsy. One. The oh. Elsa star. You know, you're right. I didn't actually think of that at first. Have you played Bubsy one? I played the first one, yeah. Have you beaten it ever? Oh, it's a hard motherfucker to beat. No, I have beaten it before, but... Like, and nowadays I can play it, but it's, it's, it's such a difficult game. I think I blew it, Amy. But go on. Yeah, there's like the, the one in the Wild West. They have like this really fast UFO. And you finally beat it, but it spawns enemies. And they just, you know, they have like 20 enemies in the screen. You realize like, oh. Like, I have to kill the enemies as well. Well, fuck. <laughs> People gave that game a lot of shit, which, in a way, fair enough. But it was not that bad as people make it out to be. It's just, it was just insanely difficult, because, you know, one hit and you're dead. Yep. Almost all the time. A few except, there were actually two enemies in the game that didn't kill you. Like, you had an ice cream cone that actually just made you white and that, and stunned you for a second and you could continue. And there was a weird monkey that would steal some of your balls. What? The yarn Ooh. balls. Wow. Oh no, she scrubbed tails! I actually used to play that game at my grandma's place. Tails, make the sacrifice for me! I don't want to be hugged! Wait, do you have to be hugged too? Oh, fuck it. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. <laughs> so you were that close to the end of I was. The I was. Oh, and I lost. That's so evil. <laughs> I know. But that's the thing I loved about this, because it had mechanics like that that made you go, ah, oh, you son of a bitch, in a good way. Oh, at least this game doesn't have. <sighs> oh, that's new. Actually, I, I now got reminded of something. Oh. I have not seen that before. So they must have recently had these, well, probably added these in quite a few years back. Because I remember there wasn't, um, they didn't used to add um, any endings to these. They used to just, um, well, on some of them they had ending, like, um, take, you know, endings that took you into the next stage and such. But as time went on, they didn't add the endings after a while, and um, now they must have put them in them. So I think that's quite nice, really. Also, I actually just remembered, like, I'm glad this game doesn't have shitty checkpoints, because in the, the original Bubsy game, there's actually one checkpoint in the game, and if you manage to go through that, you don't kill the enemy that's next to it. Yeah. You spawn essentially every time right under that enemy when it's about to land. Do you know what? It's not fun. No, that was, I, that happened to me once, and that was so shit. Do you know what, Bubsy was a very hard game, I'm not gonna lie, but I did have some fun on it. it it's, it's like, it, generally, it's not a bad, like, it, it's a hard game, and it might not be the best game, but it's not a bad game. Yeah, I know what you mean there. I'm gonna like, I can't anything. talk about the sequels, because I think I played one of them and I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, I think the sequels were not that 100% great. I'll say I think with a explanation mark, no, question mark in my head. I know the 3D game was really bad. I think it was that one that was bad, yeah. But I think they also had a second uh, game, uh, but I heard it was not that good as the first one. Mm. The first one has some glitches here and there, though. But it, it, it was quite a nice game. It, I don't know, like, I, I actually like it. Do you remember the game Micro Machines by any chance? Micro Machines? It was on the old uh, Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. Oh uh, no, I don't know. Oh, that was brilliant. I think they tried to make a re-release of that at one point. I can't remember. I know Jay would know what I'm talking about, because I think he was the one that said about Micro Machines. I can't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jay. Ow. Oh, I got up there. 
I also used to play a game, because like, my, my grandma actually had a Super Nintendo with some interesting games. Uh, I used to play a game. Oh, what happened? Did you got banned? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, um... Which oh, game? I... What I don't thing? know what the name is anymore, but it was for the Super Nintendo, and it was an interesting concept where, like, it, the story was essentially, uh, you were a scientist working on something, and then some weird-ass fucking guy teleports in, steals your shit, and throws a potion at you, which turns you into a blue ball. And the entire mechanic of the game is, like, you're a tiny blue ball, but you can morph into animals by going to certain places. Why? I know. So you can become, so you can become a mouse or a parrot or whatever. It was a really I, interesting game. I think it I may have super hard. I think I may have heard of that one. I'm not sure. I can't remember. There's a lot of things that you talk about that sounds someone's familiar. And my brain's like, you know, churning. I want to, to say animals, but animals is something completely different. No, that is definitely different. Uh, that was a good save. Good job. Oh, it was called Claymates. I think I played that. Because I remember it's, um... It's like a sister game to, uh... Yeah, it's a sister game to, uh, Clay Fighters. Oh, Clay Fighters, I remember those. Hey, hey, what's that? Oh, fuck! What? That, 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 that's actually, if I come to think of it, I don't think I've ever cleared that game. I've never been in that game, actually. It was really hard. So I keep talking. No, I, I just... that was it. <laughs> I know I got far into the game, but I don't think I've ever been... I can't remember myself. <laughs> the game of it. If you're happy and you know what's left for him... Ga awesome. Games back then were so fucking hard at times. Honestly, maybe it's because of age, but I felt like games used to be much more difficult. You know what? That's how I used to be when I was young. I didn't even know games had actually a goal to them either. I used to thought, oh look, colourful things and such that. I didn't think about that I you mean, had to complete a zone or something like that. It is, it's like both. It's like because you've played games so much over time, so you got a lot better in it. Because, like, back in the day, like, I remember playing Super Mario Bros. 3 and I was already glad if I got into World 7. I was like, oh shit, I'm really far. And then we usually lose all my lives. And if I go play Super Mario Bros. 3 now, like, I probably end up beating the game with, like, 80 lives or something ridiculous. You know what, it's going to reverse um, order with me, because I used to be great at games and now I'm, like, totally rubbish. But back in the day, they were also on purpose making games like a lot harder because that meant you spend a lot more time on it because games were a lot smaller. So yeah, because you, you know, heard about if, if a game was easy, you could have cleared it in like a couple hours. I mean, actually, funny if you think about it, like I played the NES Ninja Gaiden, which is a goddamn difficult game. Not gonna lie, that took me ten hours to beat. But if someone speedruns that game, I think the world record is 12 minutes? Something? Wow. Yeah, that game is really hard. Like, it's just... Oh, that game is hard. Especially the dig move they have in the first game. Uh, in the first game. The final boss in the first game has three phases. Actually, in that game what happens is uh, you have, like, six worlds. But if you die in a boss it sends you back to the beginning of the level instead Woo. of where you died. But in the final world, what they do is they have a boss with three phases, but if you die on the boss, you get sent back to the very beginning of that world. Entirely. Wow. And that sounds bad, but the worst part was when I first beat that world until the final boss, that took me two hours to get there. And then I died on the boss and I had to do the entire thing over again. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, 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 that was how games were back in the day, like really difficult. I mean, you still have difficult games like Dark Souls and stuff. Hmm. Son of a gun! Oh, good save. And you also have games that didn't really age well. 
like Donkey Kong 64. Ah ha 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 ha! Oh man! So I keep talking. I was I was listening. Uh, I, I was actually recently thinking about Donkey Kong 64. It was a nice game back in the day, but nowadays it's viewed as like one of the things you shouldn't do as a collectathon, essentially. I don't know, really, I don't know how to explain it. But... No, it is. It, I know what you're saying, because some people prefer the originals, like Donkey Kong Country and stuff like that. Well, no, but like, Donkey Kong 64 was like one of the first games that had like a collectathon thing. You know, like you have 200 bananas to collect, stuff like that. You know, kind of like how Odyssey is now. Oh, yeah. But it's just like, I, t I, I tried replaying it like two years ago, and like after stage three, I was just like, <laughs> Yo, I don't, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> it's like, I don't mind playing it, but 100%ing it, it's just like, nah, nah, thanks. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you even... It was a really long game, though. Like, I think the world record for that game, 100%, 16 hours or something. Something like that. Hang on. <gasps> oh, Tails got it. Tails will be making the sucker fight. Oh, shit. Oh, nine hours and two minutes for 101% one, completion. There we go. Oh shit, it's got another stage trick. Ow, 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 you son of a bitch. Oh, fuck my bits. Tails is not pleased. <laughs> He's like, oh no! No! Fuck you, mate, you have to do it again. I hate this level. Yeah, I recall having a lot of trouble with that boss as well. And those fucking orbs. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, this stage is really long as well. It, it, I, I think I ran out of time the first time I played the stage. Oh, it's so easy done on this one. It's been a while since I've played this game, but I remember having a lot of troubles with this one. Oh, yeah. I do love the theme in the background. I just know it's the background. Mm. Oh shit, me! Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. I still want a Nintendo just to make like a game like Sonic Mania, but that's for Mario. Yeah, I think that's Sega's department to do that stuff. Like Sega did it really nicely. Mega Man series did it really nicely. Like, why can't Nintendo do it with Mario? I think they're probably just more working on their, uh, like, you know, 3D stuff and that. But yeah, I mean, you have new Super Mario Brothers, but that game gets all of it. Yeah. No, that's fair and enough. And even then, I was kind of disappointed when, like, you know how they're, like, porting all the Wii U titles to the Switch? Oh, yeah. I was really disappointed in the way, like, the thing is, there's, like, so much new Super Mario Brothers games. And then they chose to port the... You know, like, they're not like super high effort to make, I mean, come on. And then they chose to, instead of making a new one for the Switch, they chose to port the Wii U one. And my first reaction was just like, why? Why don't just make a new one? But come on. Like Mario Switch or something. Well, no, but like every console had their own Mario, new, new Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, that's what I meant, like, because you had Mario you, and then they could make their own Wario Switch. Wario Switch? Mario Switch. Fuck me. Woo! Could have killed me there.
You have to like jump off. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I was just shit. Forgot about those. I really hate these little traps, aren't they? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, this level. I fucking hate it, but I love it at the same time. Sorry, Tails. That's actually, I think I've played Heroes before, and the only thing that I didn't like was that the stages didn't like Heroes compared to the other games for so long. I know what you mean there. I haven't been there, I still need to do that from point, but like, all those stages felt like so much long. Like, aren't they like a shit ton longer than like the Sonic Adventure stages? Die. Because I'm pretty sure I've hit over 10 minutes on most of them. Hmm, I know what you mean there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call the stream a night. I know I'm making it short, but I'm gonna call it a night because my eyes are getting a bit tired. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. I will try and finish this up uh, before next week and that. But yeah, thanks for attending everyone. I do appreciate that. The next week is tomorrow. No problem. Please <laughs> subscribe and like this video and leave a comment below about your favorite Sonic game.